Hey guys, how are you? Let's flash back to 2009. If you're anywhere near my age, you were probably scrambling to finish homework after school in order to get on Halo because your priorities were screwed. Or skewed. Unsure if that was a typo. Either way, you were probably on Halo 3 getting achievements toward new armors, a feature I wish would return. Or you could have been on ODST, mowing waves of enemies down on Firefight. Halo Wars was also out at the time, but who played that? Oh yeah. But there was a big, mythical thing everyone was working toward. A symbol to show you were a true fan, a skilled player, or maybe just to show that you were obstinate and had too much free time. Whichever camp you fit into, you wanted it. The legendary Recon Armor. I remember so many rumors surrounding this armor. As soon as it was spotted, it was said the recipient obtained it by dying to a traffic cone on a map. People's file shares started flooding with images that were modded or from modded maps. Share this image a hundred times to get recon. Download this image to get recon. You bet your Spartan's ass it was in Bungie favorites a few times. Part of me thinks they enjoyed our suffering. Before there was a legitimate way to acquire this armor, this was all we had to go on. People even made modded maps with JTAGs to fool people as a joke. I have to admit, I may have fallen for this one. Not so funny to 13 year old me. But soon Bungie announced a road to recon. As soon as they did, your pal Onyx went to work. There were seven achievements spread across Halo 3 and ODST. These were called Vidmaster achievements, and believe it or not, were not spawned from Halo, but an earlier series Bungie had called Marathon. Certain major fans of the series would complete insane challenges, like beating the game with no health packs, weapons, etc. on the hardest difficulty. They would often post videos to commemorate their successes, hence the term Vidmaster. I'll go over these Halo achievements here. Number one was reaching Lieutenant in Halo 3's multiplayer matchmaking. Believe it or not, I used to not like Halo multiplayer. I don't know why, I guess I found it scary or intimidating. A lot has changed, obviously. Next was 7 on the 7th, where a player had to enter a playlist in multiplayer, with 7 XP on the 7th of the month. Easy enough. Then you had Brain Pan. Collect all hidden skulls on the mythic maps of Halo 3. The Mythic maps were included on a special disc with Halo 3 ODST, so you had to have it in order to get the achievement. It was just as easy as the campaign skulls, but fun all the same. This left only the hardest achievement of the Halo 3 Vidmasters, Annual. Annual was called such because it began its obtainability on November 25th, 2008, one year after Halo 3's release. The achievement has a few distinct parameters. For one, you had to have four players on Legendary Difficulty on Xbox Live. Difficult to schedule, but simple enough. Next requirement was the Iron Skull, which meant if anyone died, the checkpoint was reset. You also had to have previously found the Iron Skull in the campaign. The final aspect was that everyone had to complete the level in a ghost. Not normally found on the level, these vehicles spawned under a ramp, a secret only when the above conditions were met. The challenge was fun, if not strenuous. It just took a dedicated team, and no one lagging out. So that covers Halo 3. What about ODST? These three were considerably harder, in my opinion, with the exception of Vidmaster Classic. In the description, it sounds hard. Finish any campaign mission on Legendary Solo without shooting or throwing a grenade. Power sliding and honking Warthog counted, actually, I guess because they used the triggers. Warthog OP. But people quickly found a way around this, using a ghost to plow through Uplift Reserve. Whatever works, I guess. Next was Stage A Vu. Probably called this for how many times you redid a part of the mission. Man, I feel like I did this before. It had similar requirements to Halo 3's annual, with the ghost bit replaced with the inability to use a warthog or a scorpion of any kind. Instead, you were given two mongooses and near unlimited rockets. It was honestly badass. In my opinion, much harder than annual though, as you had no true shielding and no bulky vehicle weight to take hits. After completing all the previous six Vidmaster achievements, you were faced with one of the hardest Halo achievements in history to this date. Endure. Oh, I endured alright. It took multiple attempts, along with everyone in the party begging their parents to allow them to try for the achievement. I cannot tell you how many runs for Vidmasters in general were ended by people leaving for dinner. Even if they left the Xbox on, they'd eventually lag out and invalidate the achievement. Oh, the esoteric problems of a first world Halo player. But back to Endure. This achievement was immense, but with only a simple explanation. Pass the fourth set of Firefight on Heroic, four player Xbox Live co-op. That meant completing 60 increasingly hard waves of enemies on the hardest horde mode I'd ever played. Every round added skulls and multipliers, changing the difficulty up. Every life counted. 
We screamed and praised a player when they were the last man standing and succeeded in kicking a brute chieftain's ass for the whole squad to revive. This achievement took our all, and I swore to never, ever do it again. If that doesn't give you a reference, I have beaten Halo 2 Legendary over five times, solo, even PC, and all the Halos on Lazo, except for Halo 2 so far, and would still consider doing them again. After completing this, we all sprinted to our computers in real life to unlock our recon. We then took massive amounts of screenshots to show off. If you checked my BungieNet profile or my file share in game, you'd see a mass of them. Sadly, I've lost contact with all the old friends I achieved recon with. But I think this highlights the strength of the Halo community. Whether we drop in or out, you'll find someone who has your six and will be able to help you. That's admirable in my book. I got to show off my recon for a while. Eventually the franchise transfer happened and 343 took the reins. As BungieNet was no longer for Halo exclusively, 343 gave recon to everyone on March 29th of 2012. At least I had my time in the limelight. 343 has since created an armor to seek, namely Achilles. But even as my Spartan company obtained the armor, we all abandoned the search for the helmet. We just don't have the time. Plus, some of the requirements are random medals and such that just require an immense luck. Close, but no cigar. Though I've accepted I'll never get Achilles, I still consider myself lucky that I was able to get recon the old-fashioned way, through dedication, skill, and the help of my fellow Halo community. I can only hope Halo Infinite will have some similar goal I can prove myself in. If it does, I know exactly who my squad will be. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. It would help a ton. If you really liked it, show a friend or two. This channel is becoming a more serious project in my life, and your continued support makes me feel like it's worth the effort. Thanks again guys, I'll see you later.